Daniel, if a husband forces sex upon his wife against her will, is that wrong under Sharia? Uh, so Islam comes with certain marital rights. Husbands have certain rights and duties. For example, the husband has to provide shelter. He has to provide clothing. He has to provide food. And the state, the, the Qadi, basically the Islamic state, can force the husband to provide for his wife and for his his children and his family. This is something that's good. This is an important policy that reduces the man's individual liberty. And similarly, the woman's individual liberty is also restricted that if the husband has a reasonable request for sexual relations, reasonable, then she is obligated to uh, comply with that. If she decides not to, he can't start beating her and he can't start abusing her in a violent way but she, uh, the Qadi can say that, look, you're not meeting your spousal duties and therefore you will um, forfeit your mahar, for example, your the bride dowry, you will forfeit your other um, privileges as a wife. So there's give and take in marriage. That's why Islam is beautiful because it creates this dependency between husband and wife. It's not like modern sexless marriages in the West where women say, oh, I don't, I can leave my husband to have uh, no sex for months because I don't feel like it. I'm a, I'm a strong, independent woman. And meanwhile, the husband is working his tail off trying to provide for his family. But there's no obligation on his wife to reciprocate in any kind because she's a strong, independent feminist. And she has to have maximum choice and opportunity. Must. But the poor devil, he has to work and provide for all of that with we no must. compensation or anything. In husband gives shelter, so he has a right to beat her up. I hate to do this. 